All right, so let's see. So they, they give them information. They tell us that sine is uh, negative square root of 5 over 7, and they tell us that the angle is in quadrant 3. So I like to draw a picture. So you know this quadrant 1, 2, and then 3 is going to be down here. And your picture doesn't have to be super accurate, but it just kind of helps you knowing what quadrant you're in. And so I'm just going to draw a little picture like this. And so sine is y over r. So this is my y right here. It's going to be negative square root of 5. And then my r value here is going to be 7. Okay, the hypotenuse is always positive. So the 7 has to be positive, And that's where the, the negative is going to have to be is with the square root of 5. So next what we're going to do here is the... We're going to do um, the Pythagorean theorem to figure out x. So let's see, x squared plus negative square root of 5 squared equals 7 squared. And so we're going to have x squared equals, now when you square this, you're going to square off the negative and the radical. So, oops, not equals, plus, plus, and so it's going to turn into plus positive 5. So the Square nullifies the negative and the radical sign, and then equals 49. And then what we'll do next is we'll go ahead and subtract 5 from both sides. And so we'll get x squared equals 44. And then we're going to square root that, and we can simplify that. And then also we need to figure out is it positive or negative, and it actually is going to be negative. Um, and so we'll put negative out in front of there. And so let's see. So then we end up with x equals negative. I'm going to break that up into the square root of 4 times the square root of 11, which then gives us x equals negative 2 square roots of 11. And so, yeah, I'm looking at your answer up here. And let's see. Okay, when I looked back, it showed that you actually had something different here. So see, that is that will be the correct answer right there. Um, and then let's see, you got part A correct, because that was just the reciprocal of the given one. And so you just kind of flipped it and rationalized it. So that's good. And so then you might be curious about uh, part A down, or um, I'm sorry, your last section down here. So you would take the reciprocal of this, and that looks good, but then you have to rationalize it. So we'd multiply by square root of 11 over the square root of 11. So we'll end up with negative, put the negative wherever you want, out in front, it's fine. Seven square roots of 11 over two times, square root of 11 times square root of 11 is gonna become 11. And so we'll go ahead and multiply that together and that'll give us 22 on bottom. So it should be negative 7 square root of 11 over 22. So I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, feel free to send them.